Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron and welcome to this inbox review, which we're going to be doing Eddard's limited edition, a BF 109. E um, in the Battle of Britain, and this is the Elder Angriff. Um, not sure if I pronounced that right, but my German wasn't the best in um, school anyway. But we got a really cool 132nd scale BF 109E. It is limited edition, and you do get some extra little goodies in here. Now, this was reboxed in 2020, but it was new tooled in 2009, so getting a little bit old in the tooth, but not that bad. Um, we'll just get started straight away with this one. Uh, let's put this down here. Right, first off we have um, the fuselage section as you can see just here. If we just zoom you in, um, the surface detail on this does have that kind of next generation type surface detail where we have this really nice crisp recess panel line detail on there. But we've also got that lovely um, Eddard kind of style of lots of little rivets if we get that rotated in light you can see all these lovely lovely rivets going on there maybe a little bit of a scratch in the packaging there but that might not be too bad there uh, we do have an engine cowl just here um, as it sort of wraps around that 90 degree angle we don't lose the surface detail which is good um, looking all good there inside we don't see much detail for the cockpit but uh, not to worry we do build that up um, in the sort of building the cockpit stage um, we've got some bits just here now we do have again we've got our landing gear wheel well door just here lovely nice sort of surface detail with the recessed rivets and we've also got the same on the inside as well which I do like from Ed Eddard no ejector pin marks as well which is also good uh, a few little odds and sods just on here we do actually have our instrument display panel Hopefully you can see there with all the dials and everything on there, as well as the one just here also. Um, with these, which I like about Eddard, is they give you the blank tape versions as well, so you don't have to sand all that detail off, so as you can put photo etch on there, because as always with Eddard, you mainly always get some nice photo etch as well. Um, we have our wing section just here again looking at this lovely surface detail bags of detail to really sort of set this off in the weathering stage um, i have noticed in some places um, there is quite there is a bit of flash with this i mean it's 2009 so it is starting to show its age a bit by getting a bit of flash going on around which you could probably see this sort of big bit of flash going on there not a big deal you know you can sand it out it's um it's not terrible shall we say i have noticed in this one spot that maybe the surface detail is slightly fading a little bit but i've only sort of noticed this area just here seems to be fading just a smidge so maybe a little bit of tidying up with rescribing just there now we do have two of these for two different versions the main thing you'll probably notice is this one's got the big teardrop on it compared to the other one um, but they're sort of basically the same but i do like that about eddard how they really sort of go for the detail with their stuff uh, we got some uh, fuel tanks and bombs just here which is a nice little added addition um, what also we got we then also have all this here we have all these engines bits as well so it's cool that they it comes with an engine so you can show off the engine um, and all sorts of bits and bobs and hopefully you can sort of see some of the detail with that more lovely detail going on there um, what else we've got just more engine detail by the looks of it moving along <coughs> Excuse me. We then have some more internal detail on this sprue just here. We've got our plastic um, tires just here. Um, I do believe we do have our blanked out instrument display panels for photo etch. Some detail inside the actual cockpit area as you can see. Just a nice bit of detail. Pretty nice crisp and smooth and the opposite side as well where we build up all sorts of detail. We've got our landing gear just here which is 
looking pretty nicely detailed nice how the ejector pin marks are left off the piece as well which is always a good one to have moving along as well we then have some propellers and ailerons and flaps and everything on here pretty much the same as the rest of the kit so then let's jump into our canopy all right if we just carefully open this up because we always want to be careful with the canopies all right we do have some pretty damn shiny canopies hopefully as you can see just there uh, looking up at the light i'm not seeing any scratches i'm not seeing any sort of cobweb effects right i'm just seeing nice detail really nice crisp clear canopy bits uh, as well as another one just here as well uh, which then brings us to all the little bits of goodies so the goodies with this one is we get resin and photo photo etch as well we've got um, a nice bit of photo etch just here i won't bother getting it at the pack here uh, instrument display panels all sorts of seat belts and cockpit detail it's their new style of stuff where they give that sort of nice glossy um, glass effect on the um, the actual dolls and stuff which is really cool to have but also flip it over we got some more photo etch just here as well not printed but this is all stuff that you'd be doing for air intakes and all that good stuff as well as we got some resin as well with this limited edition we do get a nice pilot as well 130 second scale all right so cool to have that but we also get more resin as well so we've got these cool resin wheels uh, we've got a bit of landing gear as well for the back I'm a little bit skeptical about this piece only because when I look at it, it is looking a little bit um, brittle. It is resin. Resin can be quite brittle and break easy. Um, and maybe there's something about having the weight of your model on that. I might be wrong. I've never really sort of used that before. Um, but I might sort of, if I was to do this, I'd probably sort of test it. I mean, I, if, if they put it in there, you'd kind of think it would be able to hold the weight. But I'm looking at it and it is really looking really sort of flimsy, these two little um, leg bits that stick out at the bottom. Um, but that's just uh, me eyeballing it. You also get some nice canopy masks as well, which by the way, these canopy masks also mask up the wheels as well. So nice bit of time saving there. We have the massive array of decals just here. I'm not gonna get these out because they're always pretty good from Eddard, but hopefully as you can see, we've got loads of um, different markings on here. I mean, there's 11 or 10 markings, I do believe, all together with this kit. So massive amount to choose from. Uh, turn it over and we've got like the stencils and all the swastikas stickers and everything just in there. So massive array of decals as well, which is a nice bonus. Checking out our instructions, if I just maybe bring you in a little bit closer for the instructions. Uh, we've got a nice booklet, um, nicely colored and everything inside. Um, Ad Adel Angriff, I've don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Nice sort of background on that, so a nice little read. As always, you know, we start with the cockpit, uh, the two fuselage halves, we've got all that resin, we've got all that photo etch that we can put in there. Uh, we, we do build up the engine as well, and I do believe then we bring the two fuselage halves together, which then we kind of work on our wing section. Again, this is sort of basic World War II stuff, wing sections together and then we bring the fuselage and the wing section together it does look like we can have our flaps and ailerons and all that good stuff and tail sections in different positions which is good um, moving along i did notice it's kind of strange but i would assume you could have the landing gear up or down but the instructions do not show you how to have them in the closed positions but as I say, I'm assuming you can, um, you might have to work that one out yourself, but they don't actually show it you, which is kind of strange. But moving along, you know, we have, uh, we, we do have to sort of remember that we have got like two different versions here. So uh, where was it with the wing section? It was somewhere just here. You know, you wanna make sure, you know, you've picked the markings you want first because you've got to pick the right pieces to go with those markings. Not too complicated. It's um, only a little bit of changes here and there, but you do wanna sort of pick your markings first. Lovely MGs going on in this, um, and then obviously canopy open or closed. And then we come to the markings, which there is a massive array 
of markings which I'll just quickly flip through and it's all supposed to be based around the battle of Britain which is rather rather cool because we are doing a GB on the Battle of Britain at the moment so you know this is a good one to get and as you can see loads of markings loads of different sort of styles and there we go loads and loads to pick from and then obviously we've got the stencils at the bottom so all in all this kit um you know 2009 tooled which admittedly is kind of showing its age a little bit because we are seeing a bit of flash but you've still got that nice quality sort of next generation surface detail uh, we've got no sort of nasty ejector pin marks in nasty places it does look like it's going to build really nice and turn into a really cool kit um, and funnily enough when it comes to price for the first time ever we actually have this kit in the genesis model store we're doing a bit of a test store just to sort of um, see what your guys response is and whatnot but we do have this in the store for £46.99 and if you are a subscribing member here at Genesis Models you can uh, follow instructions to get an extra 5% off that price as well so hopefully you're liking that but yeah I mean all in all I've got to give this a thumbs up it looks like a really cool kit to build and I'd love to build it myself but as always until next time my name is Bob Waldron this is Genesis Models and I'll catch you later